Alex and Byron were being, you know, studious. You two idiots were going, on, going off to get crunk. People who are affected most by the City of Assassins, who are people of very low rank. And I guess you'll probably want to see the sergeant. He's at this, he's at a, he's at this geisha house. <laughs> so you guys are drinking like crazy. <laughs> you are tied to tall poles. And now, looks like we got a fight. It seems that all of the patrons of the establishment are tied out to poles. It's not good. But, you know, squirm about trying to get out. and I, I'm just trying to loosen the bonds. I'm not trying to actually escape, because that okay, way I can try you, you just trying, later. You're just trying to loosen your... Are you trying to, like, squirm your way out of this? Yeah, I have one hand. I'm hoping that they didn't pay attention. <laughs> we'll tie his hands together behind his back. Aww. Like, <laughs> your squirming Ryan earns you some very hard hits with sticks. God, stop it! You know, as, as, the Ro as the Ronin guards, you know, hit you furiously with sticks. You hit like a girl! <laughs> the, ma the madam, you know, at this point, comes out. She has a very ange almost angelic smile on her face. Man. Proceeds to <laughs> examine... the lady the house. Show proper respect. Examine the lot of you. Higher. Yeah, so it might get exciting. <laughs> Doesn't that quite so very much about him? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's, it is about to get exciting. Yes. You know, she kind of, you know, looks at each of you and then looks at, you know, her girls and her guards. As it was promised to us, so shall it begin. Oh, not those people. What do you mean, those people? You mean Racist? worship the eye. The emissary of the Lord of All Darkness said we would be free of the samurai. They're Mormons? And from here we shall. And she, you know, picks up a torch. And, you know, goes over to one of the random samurai and begins lighting the pyre at his feet on fire. Within a few moments there, he is screaming as he is being burned alive. Okay, so it can make another attempt at loosening? You may, yeah. Because I think I've got a little bit more motivation now. And it's going to suck. Even worse. 32. All right, Ryan, you begin to squirm your way free of the bonds. You will not be free immediately, but okay. you will be able to get your way out. And you, you are unarmed. There's a big stack of weapons over to the side. Whoever's between me and the weapons, I want to, like, jump off the pyre and close mine. Which brings me back to you three. <laughs> you, the two of you, and Jeremy are on your way to the, uh, the House of the Golden Dawn and arrive there pretty much simultaneously to find the front doors closed and barred. But some smoke. It's also amazing. screaming from a courtyard. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. But it, it does seem fairly quiet. The sole establishment on, in, you know, this particular red light district um, that is closed. It's like Bullshit, TV. I know they're here. There's no way he had enough to pay them to close up early. <laughs> <laughs> this dragon monk who also see, who's also staring kind of curiously at this closed and shut down geisha house you see these two gentlemen both of them are wearing legion colors one is clearly a member of the scorpion clan and the other one seems to be a member of the mia imperial family oh osama give me a boost you're joking right? i am not <sighs> <laughs> Are, are you guys going to it. introduce yourselves to each other? Well, apparently not. We don't. We have no reason to know that we need to talk. Basically, I'm actually like, coming up to you because I'm seeing the fact that you guys are actually dressed that I have assigned your legion, or a legion that may you may be in. Who's your captain? Caillou Ryunosuke. Okay, then you can give me a boost. <laughs> you are in our squad. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a boost. I'm fantastic. Let's do this. Look, we're trying to save the world. Seriously, that's what. And, and we're the legion of people that nobody really likes, apparently. But well, that's family. fine. I'm an outcast in family. Let's... Your family doesn't like you. Both Google you... gobble, Google gobble. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Make some athletics check. I'm good. Uh, athletics plus strength. Would you roll, Ox? Uh, Thirty-six. It's enough. You get your, you know, hand under his foot, and boost him up, and kind of drop down onto the ground. Now. I'm assuming there's a bar. Yeah, there's a big wooden bar. And now there isn't. This is right when you guys start here. Oh, oh God! Oh! Coming from the courtyard. So I'm going to go ahead and not actually order anyone to follow me. I'm just going to run in that direction. I don't know. Are you going to come at all? I have all? a question. Uh-huh. So I know they have bells to signal fire. Uh-huh. Do they have something else to signal come murder, save murder, murder. people from horrible... You know, attacks I'm, and whatnot. Just yeah, you can run back into the street and start screaming murder. That usually does it. There are probably regulars of our troops 
on regular patrols because it's the Jubilee. Yeah, you could probably find a Legion detachment or something. That's what I want to do. Then. Um, I'm going in. Chuck investigate. It'll tell me about how long it will take me to take you to find some guys. And the answer is not very long. Ah, mm. oh, fuck. I gotta hurry up and come up with something cool to say when I show up. Come on, baby. Let me light your fire. No. That's stupid. <laughs> also, the guy who's on fire should have said that. <laughs> 41. 41. So, yeah. Jesus. So you are able to find some guys without... A, a, a squad of Imperial Legionnaires will be like two rounds behind you guys. That's all I need. Another voice begins screaming in horror as the two of you, you know, back, you know, bust through the geisha house and out into the courtyard where you see these guys and probably ten or eleven other samurai tied to posts. Two of them very much on fire. Well, okay. Who has the thing for setting people on? Uh, the madam. Not for long. I was Set. hoping that she was between me and the weapon, so the person I clothesline would be her. When, when will I have another chance to try? After first round. Roll initiative. Roll initiative. Except Dustin, because you don't actually, like... I can't move. You can't move. Alright, Alex. Uh, 19. Ryan. 12. So, Two. the order of the and round is... A Ronin. Jeremy. Alec. Two more Ronin, and then Ryan and a Ronin acting simultaneously. That's the motherfucker I'm close with. As you burst out. I, I, Ryan, I, I ask you a question. Yeah. What would Mayor Mike Hagar do? Actually, pile drive. Though. Yes. Just leap out, grab him, slam. With one hand. Yeah. I think at best I could roll up into a tombstone. Like... Go for it. All right, Alex. What up? There is a Ronin. He is going to declare himself like... into the attack <laughs> stance and come at you. Come at me, bro. <gasps> he, you know, charges. Swing his sword. He has hit you. Damn. He does. 30 wounds. Yeah, so I'm going to spend a void to reduce that. So I'm still into hurt, though. That's going to be difficult. He charges up to you, slices you across the chest. Ah, you reel back in a bit, you know, leaking Son blood. Son of a whore! All right, Jared, so is your go. There's... So I'm not liking the fact that you got wounded. You're the only... I've known you for five full minutes, but... Out of everybody that I've known, I've been in your company the longest. Yes. So I am going to severely punch him in the head. All right. 39. 39. You punch this mother right in the face. And my fists are on fire right now. And, yeah, his fists are now on fire and he just punched this dude. Alex, you're up. Okay. Hopefully. I'm going to go, you know, he just punched a dude in the head. He, you've got this. Y'all go ahead and do, uh, I guess I'll call it defensive since my actual action is going to be just slicing the ropes on right. uh, Makoto. Okay. You know, you leap out. Slice the ropes down. Makoto, you okay? I will be soon. <laughs> Dustin, roll your initiative for next turn. Twelve. Right. So you're going the same time as uh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan's free this turn. Oh. Yeah, because remember I left oh. myself out. Okay, Jeremy. One of the Ronin charges at you with his sword. He will do 16 wounds. If you spend a void point, you can soak 10 of that, so you'd only take 6. Take oh, six. fuck. Hey, See, David. What? I'm doing much better than I thought. I oh, forgot yeah. about my reduction. reduction. So, yeah, no, I'm just in Nick. Thing is, you guys probably aren't wearing armor. Also, any of them attacking me have a harder TN. Oh, yeah, because your, um, your initiative's better, right? Yeah. yeah. The They're... one guy is the only one who gets an advantage on I've arbitrarily decided he is better than the rest of them. Damn you! I mean, that's a pretty reasonable assumption. He rolled really well. Another Ronin will attack you, Alex. TN 30. TN 30. He hits you. Damn! The 16 wounds. Alright, Ryan and Ronan sub 2 act simultaneously. Player characters go before get priority in this, so you're gonna leap off this thing and clothesline this motherfucker. That's right. Jujitsu attack, TN20. Are you, are you full attacking or standard attack? That's what I'm wondering if I should. Full attack. Okay, yeah, so. TN20, do you wanna make any raises? I wanna knock him down. Basically, okay. it's like as a clothesline should. Knockdown is actually a thing. It's a I lot think of it's two raises. It require two he's raises to knock him down. Him. So his base TN is what? 20. So if you raise it to 30 and you hit him, else. you would knock him down and do plus 2k1 damage in addition to whatever you're punching. Whatever, I'm the fucking captain. I'm gonna do this. All right, chuck them dice. You can't be doing any worse than I am this fight. Yeah, I'm pissed. No shit. <laughs> so on one die, it's already 23. Well, damn. I think you got him, Chief. Oh, poor the Emperor. All right, roll your damage. 27 damage. 27. No, so he's wearing armor to 24. Oh, 
29, I'm sorry. Yeah, just shy of being uh, completely yeah, crippled. Uh, Pow! Uh, knock him to the ground. Uh, knock his ass down. I'm a crap. Down on the ground. <laughs> Top of the round. You just fucked up this guy, one of this guy's men. So the, the guy at the top is gonna attack you. Yeah. Got 25 to hit you. He does not hit you. He's probably wondering if he's really seen a one-armed man take down his guy. Jeremy, the, your go. Like the same guy? Yes. All right. So he takes 20 damage. Yeah. Good reputation. <laughs> you yes, I have the best reputation. Everyone knows and trusts me. Six. Despite, you know, ample reasons to the contrary. You come what in, the... uppercut him, flies up off his feet, back down to the ground, and sprawls unconscious as he is two and out. Nice. If you are a random <laughs> civilian, that was amazing. If you're a legion, welcome! <laughs> Who the hell are you? you uh, take just him a dude. Okay, so we've got... How many Ronin do we have? There are three still up. One is sorely wounded. Actually, the one... Uh, Ryan clotheslined, so he is down and so and heavily wounded. Run down. I'm going to full attack this round. <laughs> All right. And here is what I'm going to attempt to do, David. Basically, I'm just going to yeah, slash at a dude like En Passant, <laughs> going to cut some other person free. Fire. Like if the madam is still there setting people on fire, I'll just take her hand. She has set a third dude on okay. fire. Okay. So no, I'll just go ahead and take her hand then. All right. It was a shame. I really liked this Geisha house too. I didn't get a chance to enjoy facilities. You're a monk. You, you know what? Never mind. Make your attack roll. Okay. What's my TN? I mean, she's got like a TN of ten. I guess you probably need to make call some. Yeah, I'll call two raises to cut off her fucking hand. All right. So two raises, so twenty. I'm full attacking. You got this. Twenty three because I am nicked. You are nicked. Oh look, I got this. And damage roll, I guess. Yeah. 10k3, so 26 damage. 26. The madam goes down screaming, the bloody st ruined stump of her arm, squirting blood. She drops the torch off into, you know, the pond or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm making sure that it doesn't land on another pyre. It can land on one she's already lit, that's okay. Good choice. <laughs> I'm not evil. This is yeah, shit that needs to... No. No, I, I don't think it's evil to disarm someone who has actively just murdered three people with fire. Oh, no, that's not evil at all. I was saying me picking up and hitting her with her own hand. Okay, yes, that, 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 that would, would be a little that ridiculous. Would be a little yeah. Dustin. Yeah. Big monk and everything. Ronan number four is going to come up. What's your base team? Fifteen. Fifteen. That doesn't sound right. What's your reflexes? Three. So your TN's 20. Yeah. He does not <laughs> hit you. I was about to say, how dead am I? But apparently that's a different wow. Yeah, there are two ones here. All hmm. right, so Ryan and Dustin, uh, and the Ronin you knocked down. And Not... I'm guessing it was his turn to get back up. Like, or well, it was his turn last turn to get back up. He couldn't actually do anything. He was close to the... Can I reach out and, like, draw a sword? Yes, now? you can. That's not your sword, Dishonor! Of course it's my sword. My sword has Elton John written on its head. Why does your sword have... Uh, you never... <laughs> uh, there are three samurai who are on fire. How many are obviously still alive and on fire? Uh, none of them. They're all dead? They're all dead. Or, or will be or soon will enough. Be. They're pretty intensely on fire. Yeah. Right then, uh, Makoto Smash. Pick a dude. Well, he's got dibs on his guy. Oh. So just one of the unwounded dudes? Yeah. Punch. Punch like you've never punched before. I am angry. Do you declare normal attack or do you declare full attack? Full normal. Attack, full attack. Okay, so then full attack. Plus 2k1 to your attack roll. Okay. Agility plus your attack skill. Keep your agility. That's 29. Well, you beat 20, so that's a hit. Woot. You punch a dude. Roll your damage. You have hands of stone, don't you? Oh, yes. A strength k2. 10. Not very impressive. You clock him. That's a clock. Ryan, your go. Automatically draw the sword, turn, and full attack. The the guy you knocked it's, down. It's, full yeah, attack! His TN is 20. 20. Yeah, so without full attack, I'm already rolling a 7 because it's really 3 and katana 4. Yeah. I'll go ahead and raise. How many, how many times are you raising? What's your void? You can't raise more than your void. Two. Right. So you can raise twice. Yep, so I'll raise twice then. Alright, TN 30. So Looks like you got 30. it, Chief. Yeah, these are three explosions in my hand. Alright, so that, that <laughs> that's a hit right there. So, 8k2. 33. Um, he's a super dead Zors. You lop off his head. Almost a lazy backhand strike. <laughs> a sip of coffee with the cheeky extend in the other hand. He doesn't have another hand. That makes <laughs> it even more impressive. His other hand is just off, rotting in the Shadowlands, <laughs> drinking coffee somehow. No, one hand. I have two that can be set on fire. Oh, so you're a superior officer. <laughs> 
Ain't nothing superior about you, son. My rank. Round returns to the top, and Byron comes back, surrounded with a full team of Legionnaires. In the name of- Surrender now! In the name of the Emperor, surrender yourselves! Now, you probably have a much prettier voice than that. Yes, I do, and I roll my 5k3 of intimidation and roll void on top of it. Chuck them dice. 24. 24. And of, what, there's maybe two alive? Well, there's also all the geishas. Oh. Did I murder mine or just knock my oh, dude? The geisha are, you know, subdued. Oh, subdued. Wow. All right, one of them, one of the guys throws down his arms and begs for mercy. The other one, like, you know, charges headlong and gets run through by a couple spears. We will grant you the Emperor's mercy. You will be charged, found guilty, and executed. So point. is the madam alive? She's alive. You know, she's, Is she conscious? She's lost a lot of blood. And, you know, someone, like, patch tourniquets the arm or uh, whatever. I order you to patch her up. You know what's great for stopping bleeding? Fire. <laughs> I mean, he has to patch her up. Let's see. I, I didn't say how. Now that that oh, might yeah. be over a line <laughs> towards evil. I get to choose which die I use, right? Yep. Tn is fifteen. Passive aggressive much? God damn it! I just barely. Uh, you still over. succeed. It's like you're not even paying attention when you do it. I'll patch her up. Oh. Uh, Suck it up. But the, the the geisha are quickly subdued, and the madam is taken into custody. The remaining ronin. Legionnaire, they see we were to interrogate them and then kill them. A bit ruthless much. We don't really need to. I actually know what's happening here. So why did you conduct this scheme? Who, who are, are you addressing this to the madam? I'm actually asking it to the geisha behind her because I'm sure the madam is a little loopy from extreme lots of I'm you. standing in front of the madam and looking at one of the geisha and asking the question. Mm-hmm. If the madam speaks up, that's cool. But I'm looking at one of the games. R- roll another intimidate check. I, I can't imagine these poor frightened women who don't really understand what they're what they did. No. They don't understand setting people on fire is bad. Well they, they don't understand why. why. Uh, Terry religious insanity. Yeah. Fifteen. Their 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 minds clouded by the city of assassins. So the, 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 the geisha break, like, almost immediately. And quickly babble out to you that a mysterious man appeared at the gates uh, a couple weeks ago, kind of it shortly before you guys went out to chase down those unicorn dudes. He came and met with the madam and spoke to all of them and convinced them that it was time for them to cast off the bonds of samurai oppression and embrace the Lord of All Darkness, where he would give them freedom. His facial features were kind of... Big. Man, you are going to be uh, detained Sorry, and you are lucky sent back home to your villages. For those of you who can give me an accurate description of what this man looks like, I'm willing to offer you this small pittance to help you on your way. Yeah. They describe for you a handsomish ronin man in his middle 40s, very suntanned, who came and spoke to them most eloquently. In a simple manner. They did not ever know his name. <clears throat> the description they give is of the Ronin Sadunosuke, whom I believe only the two of you have actually met. I believe so. I give the money to one of the legionnaires so that if they are not put to death, that they can divvy the funds out to those who cooperate. What do you guys do? I have a good port to wake, but first I better get my clothes on. Why were you out. naked? We got our armor stripped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you need to get your swords back for sure. I say you can give a report to the captain. I anyone. think I need to alert command to look for Sardos guy, since I know what he looks like. I, I'm right here. This will. This is a waste of your time. As the captain, technically, it's supposed to be like. Well, no, never mind. Your station is technically higher because of family clan, whatever. Before we showed up to save your ass from being murdered by a bunch of prostitutes, incidentally, that's never going to get old. <laughs> So, our reading was productive. Uh, turns out, this is... Are you okay, Makoto? Fine, just... Take a shower, dude. I'm, I guess I'm taking a shower. <laughs> well, are we still... Are we back You guys are Paris? guessing we would be walking and talking back yeah, to Yeah, you guys are probably walking all back to headquarters. This guy is following you. Who are you again? Hoshi Sinzin. Why are you following us, Hoshi Sinzin? You have orders? Yes. D- the pig names. What, what, what? Toshi Sinzin? Hoshi. Hoshi. Hoshi, Hoshi. <laughs> Hoshi Sinzin. Can't do that. All right. <laughs> Although when I do it like this, it makes me think I'm looking at a pinup. So it's like, 
Nice calligraphy. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. To make a long story short from my research, this is a regularly occurring incident. It sometimes takes as little as a few days, sometimes it lasts for months. The longer it lasts, the worse it is. One of the first symptoms is Ada, who have to interact with those of higher status on a regular basis, i.e. Geisha, attacking those of the noble classes, i.e. you. I know, you're not noble noble, but... Yeah, yeah. we'll move on. Step one of trying to control it was mandating cool-off periods for duels. Step two was outlawing duels. Step three was ordering all Ada to be put to death. Um, in order to control this, we need to nip it in the bud. Well, we both know people of higher station. I'm going to go talk to my people. I would bullet points of what I can take here is, and say. Here is bullet points of what you can take and say. Is there also evidence I could... Back this up Wait, did you just hand him the actual... No, I, I handed him a written thing. I'm okay. taking the article with me. Uh, it's not you who's going to get killed by a distant cousin if it goes missing. Well, I'm going to be handing it over to someone else, and the good news is that if you end up getting killed over this, it's way more important. Than... No, I'm... Yeah, if the, if the Scorpion Clan champion reads it and burns it, I'm going to want to have some work with somebody. If that happens, I'll give you warning before your cousin murders you. So, me, me, meanwhile, Jeremy's is like, huh? Do you know much about theology? It's a gaijin god. Yeah. So, there's an evil gaijin god that's attempting to afflict this cosmic presence on the case. So, that's the Cliff's Notes. I have okay. some texts I might want you to look at and give me a second opinion on, because, <laughs> hey, you're a holy... Really? I have messages to write. And send off via carrier pigeon. Look, I can't just walk in some. No, I, I get it. I, I have to request audience as well. Yeah. You have fun with your thing. I'm going to go request mine, and then I'm going to go check on Makoto. I uh, have three letters. Uh, uh, I uh, asked uh. them to spread a warrant for Sardoski. I list him as extremely dangerous and potentially. Uh, Treasonous dark wizard. Why? Well, that, that goes without saying, but I say extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution. Has an unknown number of followers. Yeah, Why don't all of our him. orders end with kill on sight? He commits treason against the god emperor of mankind. Back at your barracks. Right. Byron, Byron is writing out arrest warrant. I'm oh. carefully folding origami birds in a particular pattern that can then be set on a windowsill so that someone will see something knowing I need to request this. <laughs> Elaborate sneaky rituals are undergone to uh, summon your ninja overlords. Yeah. They're not ninja, David. There's no such thing as ninja. The first and most important letter, a letter to my family. Dear family, <laughs> how are you? I the hate summer you. has been most pleasant. I hate you. Someone <laughs> attempted to set me on fire recently. <laughs> I'll be dead soon. I hate you so very, very, very much. <laughs> Young man, would you post this by Pony Express? <laughs> the second most important is the formal request letter with... That's second most important? Yeah, I told you the first important was the so letter. in a passive-aggressive letter to your family? Yes. That's the most important thing for you to be doing right Priorities, now. Priorities, man! Priorities! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, well, was fresh no one mind. here except you can write anything but a passive aggressive letter. <laughs> it's passive aggressive to crabs. <laughs> yeah, you, you actually have a good relation. You are like the only person of it all is... of these people who has a good relationship with. You their don't family. have a good relationship with okay, your family. No. Oh. Second most important because I've worked out all of my angst issues in the first letter is the formal letter to requesting closure of all data houses and other. Well, oh, I would. I think he'd want a one-on-one -on -one chat with that to explain what to yes, etc. and so forth. Um, and then the third is I do request contact from my old commander. If things get bad, I would like them to be a bit closer to help. If right. Me. People are going to send out some letters. What are you doing, Dustin? He crashed. I Wait, crashed. You're, you're requesting, in case shit gets bad, the crab come to the capital to help? It's technically the only other private squad that may do as I say. Can't you just write thoughtful, considerate letters to the lion asking them? I, there's a bad track record of having the crab show up in the Imperial capital. The author of the text is um, attempting to depict the spirit realm's being vastly out of balance with each other and how they will interact with people. Have you seen Thor 2? Ah. The, the spirit realm you guys are on is the realm of mortals. Then there's the other spirit realms. There's the... Uh, the land of the dead. 
The land, land of the cursed dead. The land of the blessed dead. There's a lot of dead realms. There's a lot of dead realms. Um, there's the realm of animals. There's the realm of violence. There's the realm of hungry ghosts. There's the realm of mischief spirits. I think that's all of them. That's the end. Toshigoku, the realm of slaughter. Realm of mortals. Realm of Slaughter, which is if you have a really bad life where, you know, you're angry and you like to kill people, you go there and you basically kill people. Which is distinct from Gakido, which is another place you go for active punishment. Yeah. Which is distinct from Jigoku, which is hell, because that's basically the only people who go there are practicing evil magic, specifically, or are demons. Um, there's the Realm of Dreams. You made I forgot you made You made The Blessed Heavens. The Heavens are where the gods hang out. The Blessed Ancestors is where, you know, your Blessed Ancestors hang out, who are awesome. There's the Realm of Waiting. The realm of Waiting, which is like the... It has a very Greek equivalent. Purgatory. We'll call it Purgatory. Um, oh, and is, there's the Realm of Thwarted Destiny. But which isn't around yet. Oh, uh, isn't it yet? No, it's another, like, 15, 20 years down the line. I thought that was during the uh, Spirit Wars. No, it's post, um, post Four Winds. And this is actually a good point to call it. Miscellaneous notes. Now you do have a letter from your family saying they're coming for a visit. And they would like to take tea with you and see the sights. That's a euphemism, right? No, it is actually... My actual family your wants actual, to come to visit. Your actual parents are coming to visit huh. you. Okay, then. I don't know if I want them in the city right now. <laughs> Judging from the content of the letter, they are already on their way. Well, fuck. Ryan, you get a letter from your father. <laughs> it says, I am coming to see you. I throw it in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> is that written in blood? <laughs> R- Ryan, I have kind of arbitrarily decided that your father is very angry at you for joining the Kuruma Bushi school instead of joining his dojo. Well, yes, but to be fair, he's an idiot and would be bad at making siege weapons. Nothing but personal. Th- that is why you are black sheep. You're fa- good at engineering. Because your father is very pissed that you did not go to his dojo. Is three. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, he is actually pretty good at being an engineer. Then, then why do you act like you do? 